Hi, this is Mohamed Jassia and welcome back. King Charles cancel latest updates. King and Queen leave Buckingham Palace by helicopter. Prince Harry has visited Clarence House to see his father. A day after the King's cancer diagnosis was revealed. The Duke of Sussex flew in from Los Angeles Airport in California, where he has lived since 2020, on a British Airways flight and landed at Heathrow Airport in London on Tuesday afternoon. He was photographed on Monday afternoon being driven into Clarence House, where the King had been recovering after receiving treatment. Around an hour later, the King and Queen were seen for the first time since his diagnosis was announced. The royal couple returned to Buckingham Palace and then left by helicopter for Sandringham where they arrived after 30 past 4pm on Tuesday afternoon. It is understood that Prince Harry has no plans to see Prince William during his visit to the UK. The cancer was found after the King underwent treatment for an enlarged prostate. Although Buckingham Palace said he does not have prostate cancer, the King personally called both Harry and the Prince of Wales, as well as his siblings, the Princess Royal the Duke of York and the Duke of Edinburgh, to share news of his health. The palace said, Prince William is understood to be in regular contact with his father. The monarch has begun a schedule of regular treatments and is said to be receiving expert medical care from a specialist team. But he has been advised by doctors to postpone his public-facing duties. Relations between the king and his younger son have been strained for some time after Harry quit his royal duties in early 2020 to live in the US with his wife Meghan and two children, citing what they said was the unbearable intrusions and racist attitudes of the British media. The Duke of Sussex was critical of his family in TV interviews and in his book, Spare, which was published last year. The autobiography contained damning revelations about the prince's relationships with his father and brother. A royal biographer has told Sky News a visit from his younger son could be a tonic to his majesty. Separately, Sky's royal correspondent Laura Bundock said there's been a lot of movement around the royal residences this morning. The news of the king's diagnosis is still very much sinking in. She added, The feud in the royal family is obviously an issue which has hung heavily over him. Hugo Vickers said,